Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, dude. Nostalgia is just slapping me in the face. What if I told you that what we're about to see here today is a dream come true? Every now and then as a variety gaming YouTuber, something just comes along and just hits me right in the feel goods. Guys, Command & Conquer, the original Command & Conquer 95 was the first computer game that I ever bought, ever. Oh, that music. And I wanna say a big shout out to EA, Petroglyph, and Command & Conquer for sponsoring this video today because it's a dream come true. My first computer game I ever bought and now I get to do a sponsored video on it? Heck yes. So Command & Conquer Remastered Collection, it's available now. It was released on June 5th on Origin and Steam. Now, for those of you who are not aware, or maybe too young, oh my gosh, I'm definitely showing my age here, but Command & Conquer and Red Alert, it, they defined the real-time strategy genre 20 five years ago and now they're remastered in 4k by petroglyph games which has a number of the westwood studios team members in it now in the remastered collection you get everything there's all the expansion packs and multiplayer has been rebuilt we get a modernized user interface there's a map editor and then there's like seven hours of remastered music by the man the myth the legend frank lepaki and one of my biggest favorites is mod support there is steam workshop support and there's already mods available so this is what i saw as a kid this is what it looked like i think we were yet running windows 3.1 and now it's like windows 10 my gosh but check this out right so you, you zoom in and like, my gosh, those those pixels, that's a that's a yes. minigunner? And yes. that's supposed to be a Humvee? Yes. And this is supposed to be a tank, oh. and this weird box, well, that's a mobile command center, right? But if I press spacebar, <laughs> look at that! Oh my gosh, you kids, you don't even know. So this is the mobile command center, and look at that. This is what it looked like, this little, little arm. Then you built a power plant. And the power plant, well, it powered your empire, right? Construction complete. And then this is how it looked. You had these little like white, white mints. You could build it. Red means nope, New not gonna work. Options. And then from there, Building. you had to build a refinery because these little crystals yes, over sir. here. Oh, these little guys. Unable to comply. Building in progress. Oh my gosh, unable to comply. Building in progress. The nostalgia. Who here played Command and Conquer? By the way, link in the video description below. Make sure to check it yes, out. No. Uh, I'm gonna be playing this complete. a lot. So leave me some video ideas of what you'd like to see. So this is how we get money in the game. Options. We gotta build soldiers, so we're gonna wanna build a barracks. So here we go. Once you build the barracks, then I can start building units. I've got engineers, grenadiers, rocket soldiers, and the minigunners, which I never understood why they call them minigunners. They're, they're, they're machine gunners for all intents and purposes. Now, one of the things that I always like to do was, well, more money, less problems, at least in an RTS strategy game. Look at this. Tiberium crystals were like from out of space or something like that. All right, so we've got the next refinery coming. We'll probably have to build another power plant right after this. Hey, you're not allowed in my base. Are they scouting? Oh my God, the AI is scouting. I'm sending everybody. Oh, they're on attack. Now they walked over Tiberian crystals. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop that engineer. Okay, this is bad. We are under attack by the Brotherhood of Nod. Those are the bad guys in this game. So one of the things we're gonna wanna do is let's go ahead and build, what the heck, man? All right, let's build some rocket troops. Jeez. This is bad. Uh, It got a little harder than I, than I remember it. But I think we'll be able to hold this off. It'll be tough. Now let's go ahead and build another power plant. I was not expecting this full-on onslaught. We're on the medium difficulty. Yeah, if you could, if you could just stop, that'd be great. Now we're gonna need a weapons factor because in order to like combat their the Brotherhood of Nods like Blitzkrieg strategies, we will need vehicles of our own. We're gonna build a few more rocket soldiers and infantry. All right, the weapons factory is almost completed. So right now we're basically just using infantry as the units that we're gonna be fighting with. So, but now we've got new construction options. So maybe let's go ahead and build two medium tanks. They cost $800. You can see that the Tiberium reserves that we have are over 5,000. That's the, the only currency you have in this game. Now we could build a helipad. We could build a repair facility if we continue to like get wrecked. Here we go. You go ahead and scout out this area over there. Now the next thing I'm gonna wanna get is 
We want a communications Building. center. So yeah, this is the money you get. You have to build a refinery. It sends out the little harvester. Oh my God, man. How did they, how did they come down? Okay, here we go. That's how. And the fog of war permanently goes away. That's kind of a cool thing. All right, the communications center. Now let's hope we have enough power. Look at that. Now we got the mini map. So we're going to be scouting out the rest of the map. Actually, I'll pull the tank back. After this next power plant, I'm going to purchase a helipad. I want to get some aerial vehicles because this was set, the original Command and Conquer was set in like the near future so like we're gonna see some pretty cool like at the time of what the 90s what we imagine would be some futuristic vehicles hey yes, sir. we're getting attacked oh god yeah they actually wrecked oh this was my favorite song look they've got they've got aerial vehicles too so now we have new construction options i'm gonna build an orca gunship look at that now, in order to stop that, let's see. Let's do an advanced communication center. It's going to take a little bit of time to get. Oh, man, look at the little bridges. We found more Tiberium down here in the bottom of the map. This was literally my favorite Command & Conquer song. Now, there's also Red Alert, and I'm sure a lot of people have played Red Alert, but this is just pure nostalgia for me. Rocket troops are pretty good at hitting aerial targets. So we're going to put them on over here to kind of intercept the aerial vehicles which are now attacking us. Man, they're really going all in on the air, aren't they? All right, we don't like these guys here harvesting our minerals, so let's call in the gunship. Attack. See, there's the orca going off. There's their like Apache looking thing working. Oh, oh no, th those are flame troopers. Pull back. Oh no. So it was interesting because the, each faction has their own respective units, right? The Brotherhood of Nod have these little flamethrower troopers that just destroy infantry, but don't do too well against, well, as you can see, they don't do too well pull out against vehicles. All right, Advanced Communication Center is ready. Now we're gonna be working on a super weapon, but we're running out of power here. Airstrike on that infantry. Look at the, look at the airstrikes, he's like missing. An Advanced Guard Tower, this is what I want. Low power, yeah, I got you. I got you, we got low power. See, this is the power bar right here. Now, oh, we can change the map however we please. And look, no minerals are gonna be taken back home for you, sir. Ooh, and I can build a commando. This is one of the coolest units. He can, he can plant C4 explosives and destroy stuff. Orca, you know what to do. Airstrike, coming in. Yes, beautiful. Oh man, it's, that's not a Wilhelm scream, but the scream in Command and Conquer has to be the second most infamous scream I think I've ever heard. Look at this, look at the advanced guard tower able to shoot rockets at great distances. Now if infantry walk over, if you walk over Tiberium as an infantry unit, it will slowly hurt you. And I remember I never wanted to walk my infantry over it. Look, they lose health and they'll eventually die. And they, and they like, explode into flames all right one of the things i wanted to do was build a repair facility Building. here also we're gonna have to scout them out so that we can use our ion cannon on them it'll take out their power and even like it's it's like yes, it's kind of like a super weapon now i want my repair bay close to the front lines here my ai is better than your ai the computer is taunting me right now what all right let's put this guy like right here Ooh, and that actually allowed me to construct new units the mammoth tank oh i forgot all how did i forget the mammoth tank now right after this we're going to be playing red alert to show you one of the other just beautiful beautiful games all right power plants ready see what i'm doing right here is I want to build another advanced guard tower and just dominate this choke point right here. Your artificial intelligence. <laughs> I kind of like that because even though we're playing the AI, it's it's spicing things up. All right, I'm pretty sure that they're... Oh, yeah, there's, there's the Brotherhood of Nod right there. The ion cannon's ready. All right, tank is done. All right, let's send our orca and see if we can't scout it out. Now, I don't recall, but I'm not sure orcas are able to affect... They can't affect the fog of war. That's that's a nice balancing act. So right now, one of my quests is what I always did as a kid, and that was to like discover every little part of the map, remove all of the fog of war. Now here's the thing, the jukebox. Okay, so this is amazing. I can like put all of my favorite songs in. Now there's one that's just like an absolute classic. This is like one of the best. It just felt like you were rocking out, man. Mm, <laughs> just do it up. Oh my god. 
The amount of nostalgia I get from this game is ridiculous. Look at they're, they're sending an engineer down here. That's a bad idea. Dude, right when the music changed, this is when I always thought like the computer was about to attack me. I thought they were way smarter than they were. Now, obviously, we have to bring the biggest, baddest vehicle in all of Command & Conquer. The Mammoth Tank. This song right here... Oh, God. That's bad. Oh, they've got a cannon. Okay. Let's use the ion cannon right here. <laughs> I think we bankrupted the enemy. Oh, God. Yeah, they went all cannons. Okay. Oh, my gosh. You can't hear the music because of my amazing rocket pods, but this is Hell March. Probably the, the most infamous, yes, sir. and rightfully so, song in all of Command & Conquer. So we're gonna call it an airstrike. You've got turrets, that's fine. We'll blow them up from the air and force you to sell them. Look at how big, and this is what a mammoth tank used to look like. You, you had a good idea that it was big based off the fact that it was a little bit larger and had two cannons, but now that it's in 4K, it absolutely looks incredible. It's like the uh, like the German, like, mouse or rata tank concepts from, like, World War II. All right, well, the enemy is chilling in their yes, base. Uh, let's force them out of it by destroying their cannons. Oh, God. Sam sites, get out of there. They have a freaking Sam site in the back there. Let's go ahead and land you back here and repair. All right, mammoth tank. The enemy is approaching. You must destroy them. <laughs> now, the mammoth tank is like a tank and an advanced turret because he's got rocket pods as well as those twin cannons. He truly is a literal mammoth on the battlefield. I got you. Good computer, you, you, you don't have nothing, man. You're literally getting wrecked. What's on this little isthmus here? In missions, you could get naval vessels. I'm actually kind of curious if we can get them here. These poor idiots. Now, obviously, we're going to have to get a commando as well. They're kind of expensive. Look, this civilian has a name. Hello, Phil. <laughs> Unit ready. Phil, you're on the wrong side Building. of history, my friend. So this is our Unit commando. Ready. And in and this is what Building. he looked like in regular. He'd be Unit you could tell ready. he was smoking, but then like Unit he's got ready. a little machine gun Building. and he could plant explosives. Now Unit he looks considerably ready. cooler. This is Unit really, really nice. Ready. The graphics Building. overhaul alone is awesome. Yep. Well, I, I think it's high time that you know we destroy Yo. the enemy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Ion yeah. Ready. Yo. Yo. Yeah. What's up? Yo. All right. Well, first off, let's use this ion cannon to take Select out their SAM target. site. We I'm forced charging. them to sell, and now that they've done that, vehicle reporting. We need to take out as many of these turrets as possible. <laughs> I wonder if the commando can... Oh, shoot. They have an obelisk. This is what? The obelisk of Nod or the obelisk of light, Yo. I think, or something like that? Unit. Yes, it's sir. like a... It's basically Building. what preceded the it. tesla coil that you see in command and conquer red alert Building. oh man and i loved grenadiers unit they ready. were really good anti-infantry units insufficient, insufficient funds. funds you have insufficient funds yes sir all right let's attack this obelisk oh snap we gotta get out of there okay we damaged it you know what you gotta see an obelisk in action just to know the true power all unit. right ready. mobilize the army oh shoot they're mobilizing their army. All right, we'll, we'll stand here and defend. And look at this, man. Absolute destruction. The grenadiers are just hanging in the background like, what's up, dude? What's up? What's going on? All right, everybody's trying to make their way over there. And oh man, I remember the pathfinding. Oh, they're attacking. The obelisk. It fires this big like red laser. Why did you sell it? You idiots. I guess they thought they had a better chance with all the infantry. All right, and this is my favorite part. Oh, nice new uh, factory there, little power plant. Let's go ahead and just, uh, you know, blow it up. And then he can one-shot infantry too. <laughs> oh, he truly is the best unit. Our commander's almost dead, he got flamed. Well, time to blow up all the buildings. He's a little OP in a way, in that he can just keep blowing up stuff. I mean, as long as he was alive, which, Albeit, he is a very fragile yes, unit. So now yes, it's time sir. to put the full core press on the enemy here. And one of the other cool things is you can run over units. <laughs> blow that up. You guys, blow that up. You soldiers, blow that up. And we will bring these 
idiots. But as soon as they start selling their buildings and get all these little last minute infantry, man, those turrets are real strong. You hear how many unit loss we get? My gosh. I remember playing the campaigns and like trying to like lose as many as few soldiers as possible, not as many. And look, you can repair structures so they can last longer in a fight. We'll go ahead and hit that with the ion cannon. Run over those soldiers. Oh my God, they have so many. Oh, dude, we, we actually might need to pull out. Dude, this is this is nuts. Infantry, get back up to us. We gotta pull out, we gotta pull out. Orca gunship, eliminate that barracks of theirs, which is called the Hand of Nod, and it holds the earth in the hand. <laughs> you can tell that they were bent on destruction. Oh my god. Ooh, I want to build these guys. These guys have long range. These are the long range artillery. That should help us suppress the enemy. They don't have any rockets. They do have an engineer. Look at the little aerial duel we're having. But here's the MLR MLRSs, the mobile launching rocket vehicle. MLRVs, I guess that would be then. These things are beasts. Strong versus structures. That's exactly what we need to take out. A number of the enemy's structures. Now, another unit I really Building. loved messing around with was the engineers. So, all of my units are GDIs. The Global Defense Initiative. If I wanted to make the Brotherhood of Nod soldiers, the only way to do that was A, if you take over the command center, you can build any of their buildings. But if you take over a building specifically like their barracks, I Iron watch what'll happen. Ready. Now the iron cannon's ready, so. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, they're just building more. Oh man, look at how good the rockets are. All right, move up. We're, we're getting ready. Infantry, stop them. And check this out. All right, get ready. Take it over. New and it's ours now. Option. Now look at this. New construction options. We've got the chem warriors and the flamethrowers. So let's go ahead Building. and use their own medicine against Unit. them. Ready. Hey, it's a flamethrower. I've never Unit. seen a chem warrior. This must be a new one. We'll build a commando Building. and this primary is our primary building. barracks so now so all infantry units we build will come out of this building all right time to finish them off dude the chem soldier's nasty all right the commando's ready so we'll just have him blow up everything oh watch out for the flames watch out for the flames i've got a present for you i'm on it you've got a present for you i'm on it and the last building Oh, we lost the commando. Oh, it's amazing. GDI wins. You're darn right I do. Units killed. Oh my. 142. This screen and this music also, just pure nostalgia. But remember, it's remastered and we have Red Alert as well. Oh yes. This is the game where it's like all about if the Cold War went hot. So you could be either, oh, and they had the individual factions which had little additions. 10% more armor to the Spanish, Greece has longer range, the Russians are 10% cheaper, but not faster to build. England has more armor, the Ukraine has greater speed. The Germans have more damage. Faster fire rate and faster building time. Honestly, I feel like faster building time would be pretty good for us right now. And look at this, man. Wow. Oh, I remember Ooh. these old school looking power plants. Reporting. And here it's not Tiberium you're mining. You're mining like gold and then there's gems, which yes, are worth even more. And also one of the cool things you could do was build naval yards, which yes, allowed you to build naval units. And that was one of the coolest things about Red Alert, in my opinion. Oh, look, there's the gems, man. Those were always worth so much more money than regular gold was. Oh, is there a wall here? Who put the wall? Oh, God, is that the bad guys? So we'll build a barracks. Yes, sir. We'll try to find our way in here, but I think one of the ways you can do it is just send in the tanks. All right, let's produce some Trade. rocket infantry and mini gunners. And then I'm thinking a radar don't actually. Ooh, camo Trade. pillboxes were always so Trade. good. Yeah, there we go. We can blow a yes, hole sir. in there. We're building yes, up our army here to yes, be able sir. to defend ourselves Trade. against the Russian yes, invasion. Trade. And then these are the ore miners. Complete. Let's go ahead and get them on gem duty because we might as well take advantage of that. Uh oh, Vehicle. they're coming. Yes, sir. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. Here we go, we'll put a little camo pillbox right there. If they come this way, they won't see it until it shoots at them already. So let's see, oh man, you get a lot of money with the gems. 
And then this shows the storage, and if you want to store more, you're going to have to build ore silos, which allow you to produce more. But what I want to show is just all the units that we can make. I remember Red Alert 2 had cloning vats, which if you were a, a communist player, you were allowed to, uh, once you built it, it was almost like a super building. They kind of took it to the next level in their next generation of games, but it allowed you to build two infantry units at the same time. Oh, all right, so we've got artillery, ore trucks, rangers, medium tanks, light tanks, and APCs. I definitely want to get an ore truck first so that we can just start maximizing our monies. Now, I'm thinking we'll do another power plant. And look at it. Like, I just love how different the buildings... And they had medics in this one, too, so you could heal your soldiers. My god, he's $800 worth? Talk about a VIP on the battlefield. So this will give us radar so that we can see what's happening. It looks like there might be a unit in patrol right down there. Ooh, there we go. The tech center. That's what we need. Acknowledge. And look at that, instead of the little Tiberium, like, pod producing Tiberium, you can see that it's like a gold mine. Oh, hello, blue guy. They mine this area bone dry. Uh oh, that's the enemy base. Time to run. Oh, they got a, they got a big tank coming. All right, everybody get ready. They're coming. Never mind, they're not. All right, but we'll get the tech lab that should open up our super weapon, which is a GPS satellite. Reveals the entire map. I want something better. Oh, how about a missile silo or a chronosphere? Silos needed. Building. We are too rich, Tavarish. We are producing gems, so we'll put our silos back here. And look, it shows you visually how much is in each of the silos. Construction Let's complete. Let's go ahead, get some more power. Ooh, see here, the advanced power plants actually make more sense, right? 300 for 100 power or 500 for 200 power. Doing quick math, there's a savings. Now this guy, he, you're not allowed in there. Sir, this Vehicle is ours party. and you're gonna have to pay taxes. Complete. If you want to stay in there. There we yes, go. We'll sir. scare him off. Uh oh. Oh, God. I just started a war. Yes, sir. Agreed. A cold war. Now they have V1 Agreed. missiles. Look at that. That thing's just dirty. I remember how painful these were to fight. All right. I'm going to have to produce more vehicles, I'm pretty sure. My army's dead. Retreat. This is bad, guys. I need a turret. Oh, man. All right, they've taken control of the gem fields. This is bad. Oh, they're, I forgot how beefy the Soviet tanks were. Here we go. This should help us defend a little bit better. What the heck is he doing in our base? Dang it, they took one of our guys out. This is what we get for not setting up defenses and maybe being a little bit rubbish at the beginning. <laughs> All right, they've got more tanks coming in, so I, I've got to airstrike them, I think. Yes, sir. Soften them up a little bit. All right, radar jammers. We've got chrono tanks. Two thousand four hundred dollars. Oh, really? You got you coming? In, you're not invited over F1. on that side. Okay. Mike, come on over Ready. here. Ready. Oh, watch Ready. out for the tank, though. Ooh, my helicopter got shot down. Look at that. They have flame turrets. Oh, there's Tanya. She was like the commando, but just better. And you can send in spies as well. Gonna Train. do it. All right, let's go send our spy in for king and country. This is what he looked like back then. Look, you're like, oh, that's a spy. I don't need to worry about him. You're right. You don't need to worry about me. On my way. Oh, shoot. They're attacking my vehicle, Depot. Bad. Infiltrated. All right, we've infiltrated their building here. So I think I'm stealing money right now. <laughs> that's awesome. And I have vision of their base. Well, actually, that the GPS just got done, my super weapon. I'm going to build a nuclear missile silo, and I'm going to attack them. Uh-oh. More attacks. Yeah, our base is under attack, Bob. I got it. All right, it's time to build the missile silo. The uber weapon here. All right, the missile silo is ready. Now we've got to wait. Wow, six minutes and 30 seconds? That's quite a ways. If I remember correctly, the Soviets had airfields, which I really, really liked. Whoa. I can detonate a nuclear payload at the target but it's very well defended. Look, they, they put Tesla coils in the back of their base. Why? I, I'm, I don't know. Construction All right, now I've got two missile silos. Ooh, a mechanic that repairs vehicles. Repair. That'd be really good to try out. By the way, I've got two missiles now. Actually, I think it just speeds up the speed at which you can, speeds up the speed, yeah. Which you can get the missile ready. Uh-oh, massive enemy infantry movement happening. Looks like it's coming over here, so we'll have to prepare our defenses because remember, we're gonna sit back, turtle up, and drop nukes. They're coming! Complete. Those pillboxes are so good at chewing up enemies. 
enemy infantry. Let, let's get back up here. Let's pull back behind safety, please. At least for the time being. Call in the helicopter on the little Soviet infantry. Yeah, see, they know my nukes are going to be done soon. So they're like, we need to stop them. Ha <laughs> ha. You idiots. A-bomb's ready. Well, let me know if you guys want to see more Command & Conquer and Command & Conquer Red Alert because, let's see, where's their greatest concentration and stuff? Right there? A Goodbye! A-bomb launch detected. And boom! <laughs> ICBM has been launched, Commander. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you once again, Command & Conquer, for sponsoring this video. It's like, this is the first game I ever bought, man. It's awesome. Let me know if you want to see more, and I will see you guys in the next video. Link in the video description below. Go check it out. It's out right now. And look at this. This is what it used to be, and this is what it is now. It's beautiful.